Now, even though he only played five minutes in the game against Leicester, it's fair to say everyone is continuing to speak about Ethan Wanneri's amazing cameo yet again for Arsenal. In this video, we're going to talk about what Arsenal should do with him in the next coming weeks and why I think he needs to be pushed into the team as soon as possible. So let's get into it. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a bonus video for any of you that want to watch it, but I thought I just want to give my point of view on the Wanneri situation. I've done some analytical videos about him. I did one this week about about that brilliant performance against Bolton and I do want to break down his five minutes against Leicester and talk about what he can bring to the team but more importantly when he should play for the team and when Arteta probably should give him minutes. Now the first thing I will say with Wanneri it has definitely been seen that he has reached mainstream media of course us Arsenal fans have been talking about him for a very long time and want him to get more and more game time but I think his performances in the midweek and the fact he came on in this game and looked really good as well has made a lot of people outside of Arsenal talk about him they even did a piece about him on match of the day now let's go over that cameo against Leicester then so he came on only played five minutes Arsenal at 2-2 at this point and they need a goal now when I saw him come on I was happy but I did think he should have come on maybe 10 or 15 minutes before but I understand the reasons why he is still a child and there is still players on the pitch that can make the difference now straight away the first thing I noticed with him is a willingness to just want to push his team forward straight away after coming on he made that incredible run running into midfield into the space behind the defenders in which he gets a good shot away from very long distance away about 25 yards out and it gets a good save from the goalkeeper but that straight away shows the amount of willingness and amount of smartness he has because it was actually the best idea in that situation to run into the middle and shoot. He also has a willingness to get into different positions. He even came up on the wing and ran at defenders trying to pull the ball back for us a lot of times. But there's also times where he came into the half term and was trying to fight for the chance to get a shot away but ends up getting a corner for Arsenal which is obviously good work. He's still got something positive from it now the first thing i can see with this player is the fact that his technical ability is through the roof you do get this with youngsters you can see when they control the ball sometimes that they are just ready sometimes you're naturally gifted and have developed it and i think that is the same with Wanneri. he has this really low center of gravity despite not necessarily being the smallest player out there where he uses his body incredibly well in physical battles he makes sure that he always has an eye on the ball and it's very hard for him to actually lose a battle in most situations when especially when he has it but he's also very good in tight areas trying to get around players and using his brilliant dribbling and pace and this is the thing I do see similarities between him and Odegaard from a proper sustained possession point of view they seem very comfortable on the ball don't seem like they're going to lose it very often but he is a lot more electric a lot more powerful than Odegaard he's got a lot quicker of a runner he's a lot more aggressive I think in certain situations I think when he's got the ball he's much more aggressive to actually run at the defenders rather than wait for the perfect pass like Odegaard is like which is nothing against Odegaard they're just different types of players and later on in games when you need a goal this is the perfect player to bring on because even though he is young and not necessarily experienced enough the reason why him and Lewis Skelly are getting significant minutes this season is not because of their individual quality it's because of how smart they are on the ball this is the thing with youngsters when they come through there's a lot of them that have got this technical ability but they often make the wrong decisions all the time now that may be fine for a middling club or a team that are fighting relegation but a team like Arsenal that need results now and want to fight for the Premier League title they can't really afford players to have this sort of problem so this is probably one of the reasons why I don't think Arsenal have used a lot of the academy recently also because our expectations are a lot bigger and our players are a lot better so it is harder to get into our squad but something I see with Wanneri and one of the reasons I think Arteta trusts him a lot I mean he's come on a few times now we got rid of Vieira and Smithrow I think to put him in there is his decision making is very smart he's got all of these tangible qualities such as ball running being able to pick out players and clearly having a good shot on him as well he's very good in the half turn which is something I don't think any of our players really have at the moment especially in that midfield which is really good but it's just about putting all these parts together at the right moment and I think against Leicester in five minutes where we basically panicked and went you need to do this now he rose to the occasion and was able to show that attacking quality that he has and I think if he's on the pitch for 15 to 21 minutes I genuinely think he gets a goal contribution he was that good on the day but there has been some varieties to the way he has played as well he came on against Tottenham when we were defending a lead late on and was sitting in there blocking shots and being determined to win the ball back we saw that against Leicester as well him running back getting in position trying to tackle them when we went three two up and showing that willingness to defend as well which I know Mikel Arteta definitely likes in his midfielders and I alluded to it in the video I did reacting to the game but the amount of work that he did in just a couple of minutes against Leicester is incredible he had 10 touches on the ball but still made three touches in the opposition box he made one successful dribble one accurate long ball had that one shot from distance and actually created a 0.18 
XG overall. In just a minimal amount of touches, he's been able to have that much quality on the ball in a situation where it was very much needed. Arsenal needed to get something out of this. To me, is the most exciting thing about anything I've seen by Waneri. We know his quality. We know what he proved in the week against Bolton, where he was one of the key players in that team and took his chances, I think, really well in the end. This is what really matters. When we bring you on, when you're going to come on in these situations, are you going to be able to perform and live up to the expectation or at least have your mind in a sense what the game state is like Tottenham you need to sit there defend shots work your ass off defensively are you going to do the same in the Leicester game but we need that attack and flair from you and I think he did both of that and genuinely that is one of the big reasons I have for him right now and I do think he should play more and I really do think there is such a big argument for him to start I know that the midfield actually worked well against Leicester in a lot of times and I think we looked a lot more efficient especially going forward than we have all season I think Trossard had a particularly incredibly game but I do think party and rice there is still ways you can get at them in midfield I don't think rice has been incredible this season I think party has been on and off and I definitely think the long-term solution is because Marinos looks to be coming back in the next few weeks he looks to be able to be fit for maybe two weeks or three weeks time after the international break that I do think Ranieri's time to start in the team is definitely dwindling a lot with these players coming back we've got Southampton next week where Marino isn't going to be fit for and we're playing PSG in the week where the team is going to have to be focused on now Ranieri's a player you can bring on in the PSG game late if you need something like I've seen his amount of expectation we have around him I'm excited in that Southampton game I don't see the reason why he shouldn't start I think he could realistically be next to Rice or a Jorginho or even a Trossard and be perfectly fine put Rice back into the six where I think it's abundantly clear this season that he is missing that role I know last year he did brilliantly in the eight and I still think he offers a lot with ball carriers however I do think the six for the long term is the solution for him this allows a little bit of expectation where you can have Rice maybe Trossard and Waneri in that Southampton game and then when Marino comes in you can play Marino next to Waneri in certain games before Odegaard is ready and I know it's a little bit early if Odegaard would have got injured I think three or four months later than now I definitely think Waneri would start and it is still a lot of expectations on the child but look we've all seen what he can do in the cameos he's had I think he's the most exciting player that there is at Arsenal right now he's the one that everyone's talking about every week everyone's always going on about this kid and how great he is and when you watch him you can definitely see it and I think it's finally time Arteta does consider starting him against Southampton or at least at minimum give him 30 minutes where he can really come out there and show what he's about I don't like him having these five minute cameos because I think ultimately that gives him one even more pressure overall but two it doesn't give him enough time to actually prove anything and I think we all know how great he is and I want him to get some great output in the Premier League that'd be brilliant to see and I think after the Southampton game you look at Arsenal's schedule Bournemouth for ways a tough game Ariel is a great man manager he could potentially get some minutes in that but I can't see him really start maybe Shakhtar in the Champions League he can get some considerable minutes but then after that Liverpool he's probably not going to play too much maybe Odegaard might be back by this point Preston he'll probably play in the FA Cup Newcastle away can't really see it happening and after that we have a very tough run of fixtures for a while so I genuinely don't see him playing consistently or at least getting good minutes uh maybe a start for a while after that so I would like to see him even start against Southampton or get a good amount of time in that game because because it'd be quite hard for him to get into the team after that, especially with Odegaard back anyway. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was just a quick me talking. It's not really like a proper video. I just wanted to get this bonus video out for you today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. But let me know what you guys think about Waneri. Where do you think the minutes are going to come from? And do you think he deserves them? If you like this video, please go watch my Saka video from earlier. And if not, I'll see you in the next one.